Hi everybody, it's the Grizz at the Little Shop of Horrors. I'm here to give you a leaf tutorial, what I promised I'd post. I've got my lovely daughter here to assist me with a little filming today, but I think in the future I'll film my own for more leaf tutorials. Uh, I like Gun style. I'd like to say hello to our fearless leader, Guns, and to Ren, and to Zombie, and to Tuscany, the other web bloggers. Uh, nice to see you all out there. And uh, we'll start in a second. I'll show you a list of things where we're going to need to start today's project. Okay, so what you're going to need to start today's project is your general mix is going to be three parts sifted sand. That's really important. You don't want any chunks of aggregate in there. To one part of Portland. And then I put a good handful of the polyfibers, the nylon fibers, in as well for strength. And optional, I won't do it today, but this is the iron oxide powder and per leaf I put about this is about a six ounce glass six to nine ounces in uh, or that'll be about 250 or 275 mil to our friends friends in Great Britain there and that's for your basic mix so here's the rest of what we're gonna need for the project you're gonna need some latex or nitro gloves you're gonna need some small spatulas or palette knives uh, a craft knife exacto knife these are stone rasps, uh, some stainless steel picks, a small file, some garden shears, an old brush or a new brush, whatever you got laying around, a uh, piece of steel for a hanger, and just some tools that we'll put that together with. Now, what I like to put in my mix as well, as we've covered this in other posts, is the concrete fortifier. If you don't have any fortifier, you can also use just the straight bonding as well. I'm not trying to promote one brand or another, it's just what I grab easy from, from Home Depot, but I'm sure you have other products available in your area. Uh, so water and plastic sheet we'll need, and is optional for when we demold, I'll show you, is air compressor and hose. And let's go get started and pick ourselves out a leaf. Uh, I just wanted to touch base again on the iron oxide uh, uh, dye is I have a, obviously big containers where you don't have to buy this sort of volume, but I have black, goldenrod, hazel, red, the green I use tons of. If you don't have to buy in, in big bulk, I see, uh, down at your hardware store is also available from Quickcrete are these liquid colorings too. Also very good product just to toss into your mix as well. And okay, let's go get our leaf. Hi everybody, so we're out in the back garden here where we grow most of the leaves that I use for casting. So this one here, I think I've shown some pictures before in a post. This is Japanese rhubarb or riam, it's referred to as. This one is still a few weeks away from harvesting. I like the leaves to get a little bit bigger. They can get up to 36 inches by 36. Is a great size for doing some, some big show pieces. But I will cast the smaller ones as well, but a couple weeks still for this. Uh, it's going to flower, those usually just get nipped off, a little botanical information there. So anyway, we'll move on to the other rhubarb. Okay, so here we have one of the rhubarb beds. And since today we're probably we're not going to do a large leaf, we'll do a medium sized one to give you an idea. When you first start out with this little project, it's best to start off with smaller ones and work your way up to the larger ones. So I usually come out and depending on what I'm going to use the leaf for, if I'm using it for a bird bath, I'll look for a round shape. If I'm looking for one that's going to be mounted on the pillar, I look for a big arch and at least 24 to 27 inches in, in overall length by probably 24. But uh, for today, we're just going to probably grab this guy here. Here's even a little bit smaller. So you want to cut it with about three or four inches of stem remaining. And then off you go to your bench. Okay, so now you're back into the other shop and spread your leaf down upside down on your work table. Push it down a little bit, but don't force it down because you can break these membranes here. So what you're going to do is you have to remove some of this membrane on these larger veins, especially if you're using a bigger leaf. These are really big and thick and it's going to be too deep for your casting. So what you're going to do is you usually go up to the first terminal Y on a leaf and you're just going to use your crafting knife and just come down underneath, cut about a half to two thirds, whatever you're comfortable with, and then come back up to the top and just remove that. And you're going to do that all the way around your leaf. Don't 
freak out if you make a little slice in your leaf because it's all repairable. Like here's a little, I'm not even gonna worry about this. Here's a little hole in the leaf. All you're gonna do is flip it over to this side and put a little scotch tape or masking tape on it and flip it back and you won't see it on your casting. Same as a rip or a tear, you can, you can repair that first before you get started. Okay, and I'll just carry on with this and we'll come back and mold it. Okay, so now we're ready to make a casting pile for the leaf. So what I do is because I'm doing the volume is all in my cement mixer, I'll pre-mix four or five bucketfuls of my sand, work sand. I use the same sand over and over again for casting. Uh, it's, it's not what I would use for, for my mix because there's little pieces of concrete. So I just use the same over. Throw it on my mixer, a little bit of water, and then I'll bring it back to my work table. So now you want to sort of work on the shape of your leaf depending on what your project is. If it's a bird bath, if it's a regular hanging leaf for, or for a waterfall, this one will make for a waterfall kit. So you want to sort of make a, the natural shape of what the leaf is. So you can see that your leaf, you have the high here in the back and the width and then come to the point, but you want to raise your point a bit. So you can just take a little bit of extra sand and make yourself a little pile. And you can leave this a little bit of a dip here. And then I like to come out to the sides a bit. Now, what I'll do is you just sort of dry fit your leaf, trying not to get any sand on the top of it. So now, I can see how it fits. So I need a little bit more on the front here. So I'll lift that up a little bit more. There. Good. And you can see it's just, just touching the table here, which is perfect. And the back end is up high. And actually, if my camera person can come around just quickly here, I like to tuck the back end across each other like this and leave the stem. Do not cut the stem off. You have to leave it on. Okay, and then we'll go to the next step. So now the next step is the one thing I didn't show you on the ingredient list, sorry, I forgot about it, is you're gonna need either some craft paper towel, the brown paper towel, or napkins or serviettes, something along that size. And what you're gonna do is tear off big pieces and I soak them in water and I make these little oval shaped balls with them. So this is how you get the shape, the rest of the shape with your leaf. Most leaves you'll see that most people do are flat. They have no contour, they have no life to the edges. You wanna try and replicate this natural shape that the leaves have. So what you do is you start placing them underneath the edges of the leaf and you try and, and go where the leaf is telling you where they want to be. And you can leave these dips and leave them a little bit elevated. So this is a bigger one. So what I'll do here is I'll actually force a new one. I'll force a new, new curl in there. Now, if you have a larger leaf, if your leaf is, is a good two foot or a three footer, you'll have to put more of your paper towel up through the ridges meeting up to the middle because what will happen is you'll put your concrete on and it's going to sink and you'll have this concave with this funny shapes with these things sticking out. So, but a small leaf like this, just single ones are, are necessary. Anyway, I'll go and finish this up and then we'll come back.